Welcome to the Crochet Channel, the best place in the world to learn crochet online. It's great you are here today because it is always a great day to crochet. In this video, I will show you how to crochet daisy bag. If you like crochet or chocolate or you just want to be a nice person, click like, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on your crochet channel videos yay first of all we are going to learn the basics of crochet stitches so to begin you will need to create a slip knot you're done and then crochet a chain Next, let's move on to crochet a slip stitch. Next, crochet single crochet. Next, crochet half double crochet. Next, crochet double crochet. And the last one, crochet, triple crochet. These are the crochet stitches you need to know. If you are ready, let's get started on the exciting crochet project. The materials I will use today are for ply hard cotton yarn, 4mm crochet hook, scissors, yarn needle and tape measure this is so exciting let's get started i will crochet daisy flower this one four ply hard cotton yarn and i use four millimeters crochet hook before you begin create a slip knot And then crochet chaining four. One, two, three, four, and then join crochet slip stitch with the last chain. And then crochet chaining three. One, two, three. We are going to crochet double crochets, so yarn over, insert. Double crochet. For round 1, we will crochet 11 double crochet, one already. Two. Three. So, crochet eleven double crochet, and I will be right back. Now I have eleven double crochets, and then I will join the round one, crochet slip stitch. One, two, three, crochet slip stitch. So this created round one, and then we will simply cut the yarn. We are going to chain to white yarn, white yarn. Pull through. Next, we are going to crochet round two. So crochet chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. And then crochet, single crochet at the second chain from your hook. Single crochet. And then crochet three half double crochets. One. 
two, three, and then slip stitch at the next stitch. So first double crochet from round one. Crochet slip stitch. So we have one already. We will crochet this process for 12 times total. So this create one time. And I will show you one more time. So remember crochet chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then crochet, single crochet at the second chain from your hook. Single crochet and then crochet three half double crochets. One, two, three, and then crochet slip stitch at the next stitch. Insert a hook yarn over and then pull through. So this creates two times and then continue crochet all the way around for 12 times. And I will be right back. Now I have finished with 12 times total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then crochet chain 1. Simply cut the yarn. And then pull through. At the back, weave in all ends with yarn needle. If you like crochet, leave a comment below saying crochet is great. Do three of this. The wrong side and this one the right side. Next, I will crochet row 3. So for row 3, create a slip knot. Insert from the first single crochet. Grab the slip knot and then pull through. Crochet chaining five. One, two, three, four, and five, and then join in another this one. Crochet slip stitch from the first single crochet. There you go. And then we will repeat this process all the way around for 11 times total. I will show you one more time. So remember, crochet chaining 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then join crochet slip stitch at the first single crochet. Here we go. Keep continuing and I will be right back. Now I have finished with 11 times total and then I will crochet chaining 2. 1, 2, and then I will join with this one. So crochet, double crochet, yarn over, insert into this one. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. So this created row 3. Next, crochet row 4. Crochet, chain 1, and then crochet one single crochet. Next, crochet chaining seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then crochet single crochet in the chaining five space. Next, crochet chaining five. One, two, 
three, four, five. Now I have turning five and then crochet two double crochets together. Yarn over, insert. One, two, and then yarn over together. So this created two double crochet together. And then crochet chaining seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we will crochet two double crochets together in the same chaining five space. One, two, and then yarn over, pull through. Next, crochet chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. So we will repeating this process for four times total. Single crochet in the chaining five space and then crochet chaining seven. One single crochet and then crochet chaining five and then two double crochets together and chaining seven and then two double crochet together in chaining five space and chaining five to repeat crochet single crochet and then crochet chaining seven one two three four five six seven and crochet single crochet next crochet chaining five one two three four five and then crochet two double crochets together one two and then together next crochet chaining seven one two three four five six seven and in the same space we are going to crochet two double crochets together one two and then yarn over together Next crochet chaining five, one, two, three, four, five. So this created two times. Keep continuing repeating this process all the way around for four times total. And I will be right back. So now I have finished with four times total. So one time, two times, three times and four times crochet slip stitch from the first single crochet so this finished and then simply cut the yarn fast enough before fast enough crochet chain one then pull through And the tail weave in or ends with yarn needle. If you like crochet, leave a comment below saying crochet is great. So keep doing this until the end of the tail and also do this one. So now I have finished with weave in or ends. So this one the right side and this one the wrong side. And next I will crochet the second and then join with round four. Next make the second daisy flower join with green yarn. So I have one, two, three and four. I will connect this piece together from this to this so I will take this out
So I will crochet chaining three. One, two, three. For this one, crochet chaining three, and then join with this. I will insert from the top. And then yarn over, pull through, crochet, slip stitch. Will be look like this. Next, crochet, chaining three. One, two, three. Chaining three. One, two, three. And then crochet, two double crochet together. One, two, together. Next, crochet, chaining two, one, and two. And then I will join with this. Insert from the top, yarn over, pull through. And then crochet chain two, one and two, single crochet, crochet chain three, one, two, three, then insert, crochet slip stitch. Next, crochet chain three. One, two, three, and this one. Single crochet. And then crochet chain two. One and two. And then crochet slip stitch. Chaining two, one and two, and then crochet two double crochet together. One, two, together, and then crochet chaining three, one, two, and three, and slip stitch. Crochet chain three, one, two, and three. Next, two double crochets together. One, two, together. And then crochet chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And join. Crochet slip stitch. And chain one, pull through. So I join the two pieces together. Next, I will join this one. So I will take these out and stop at the corner. So for this one, start with chain three, one, two, and three, and then grab two pieces. This one, insert from slip stitch from the two legs of slip stitch. This one. Yarn over, pull through, crochet slip stitch, and then crochet chain three, one, two, and three. Crochet two double crochets together. 
one, two, together, and then crochet chaining two, one and two. This one. Yarn over, pull through, slip stitch, crochet chaining two, one, two, and then single crochet. Next, crochet chaining three, one, two, and three, and then crochet slip stitch from another side. This one. Chaining three, one, two, three, and single crochet. Next, crochet chaining two, one, and two. From this, crochet slip stitch. Chaining two, one, and two. Two double crochets together. Next, crochet chaining three, one, two, and three, and then grab this one, the corner, and slip stitch. Next crochet chain three, one, two, and three. Two double crochets together. One, two, together. And then crochet chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And join crochet slip stitch from the first single crochet. And then chain one, pull through. So we complete three daisy flower, and then I will join these together. So this one. So I will take this out and crochet at this one. So I can mark one, two, three. Stop at here. So this one insert from the top. Yarn over, pull through, slip stitch, and then crochet chain in three, one, two, three, and crochet two double crochets together, one, two, together, and then crochet chain in two, one, two, and slip stitch from this one. Next, crochet chain two, one, two, and single crochet, chaining three, one, two, three, and join with this, slip stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. This one single crochet. And then chaining two, one and two. And then join with this.
chaining two, one and two. Two double crochets together. One, two. Next crochet chain three. One, two, and three. And this one. Insert in the middle. This one in the middle. Slip stitch. Next crochet chain three. One, two, three. And then two double crochets together. One and two. Crochet chain into one and two. And then we will join this one. Crochet slip stitch Yarn over Pull through Chaining two, one and two Single crochet And then Chaining three, one, two, three Join with this Chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet. And then chaining two. One and two. And join with this. Chaining two. One and two. And then crochet two double crochets together. Chaining three, one, two, three. From the corner. Chaining three, one, two, and three. Two double crochets together. One. Two. Next, chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch. And then chain one. Pull through. And then we will weave in our ends for the tail. Next, I will crochet the edge all around. So create a slip knot. So I will attach to the corner. Crochet chain one and then crochet two single crochets. one and two next crochet four single crochets one two three four Crochet four single crochet in each space all the way around until this one crochet two single crochets. Keep continuing and I will be right back. Now I have finished. So this one crochet two single crochets and then join 
crochet slip stitch. So make two of this piece. So now I have two pieces. As you can see, the second piece, we don't cut it off. Now I am going to mark at the corner. So we have four corner. One, two, three, four. For the corner, we have four single crochet and I will mark at the middle. For the middle, one, two. This one, one, two. And another corner. And this one. And then I will cover with this. This one the wrong side. This one the right side. Right side and right side. I will connect them together. So after I connect them together with the stitch marker, I will continue crocheting from this one. So for this one, crochet chain 1, and then I will crochet this to another side. So insert with the stitch marker and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. This one we will crochet single crochet. So I will take this out first. Single crochet one. So the first stitch. I will crochet two single crochet increase. So make one more in the same stitch. So two single crochet increase. And the next one, one single crochet. So the point with the stitch marker, we will crochet two single crochet increase. So next one, one single crochet in each stitch. Insert from the front to the back to three. So keep continuing crochet, single crochet in each stitch from the front through the back piece and the corner with the stitch marker two single crochet increase and two single crochet increase so we have two single crochet increase two times this one single crochet in each stitch and the corner two single crochet increase two times and i will be right back at this point now i have finished from this corner, corner and to this. Next, I will crochet the top. So for the top, crochet chain one and then crochet single crochet in the 
single crochet legs this one one and this two and three four so crochet single crochet in each stitch until the corner and crochet single crochet in the first single crochet so crochet single crochet in each stitch and I will be right back here okay so now I have finished with single crochet in each stitch and I am at the corner this one so for the corner crochet one single crochet then turn your work and then crochet single crochet in this one one single crochet and then two single crochet of this one and two So, I mark the stitch at the middle point. So, keep continuing crochet, single crochet in each stitch until this one. And I will be right back. Now, I am at the middle point, and then between single crochet and this one, I will crochet chaining two. One and two. Take the stitch marker out, skip two stitches, one and two, and crochet in the third one. Keep continuing until this one, and I will be right back. So I am at this point at the corner, and then I will crochet single crochet in the same stitch, this one. And then join crochet slip stitch chain one pull through here we go next I will attach the button to this one the back side so this one the button hole and so Solving the button in this point and I will be right back now. I have finished with my button solving And then push in the hole And you can put your stuff inside. Hello kitty. Do you have a favorite crochet style? Let us know in the comments. Links to videos showing how to make straps are in the description below. Did you enjoy this video? Let me know in the comment section. I love to read what viewers have to say. Now I have finished with my daisy bag. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out the crochet channel for lots of exciting, easy and best of all free crochet tutorial patterns which you can use to create your own crochet pieces. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please thumbs up, share and subscribe. Be kind to someone today and keep smiling until the next video.